Hello folks, what's up? In this video, I'm connecting the contact form 7 with MailChimp. You know, contact form 7 is a very commonly used uh, contact form in WordPress websites and uh, for the subscription forms. Here I have the contact page here and also on my website I have the subscription form. When I scroll down at the bottom, there it is. Wait, it is loading. Yes. Also, you know, MailChimp is a very powerful uh, marketing tool, email marketing tool, and uh, everybody is using nowadays. Uh, there are different plans for the free plans. You can have around 2,000 contacts, and you can go to the MailChimp website and see which one really uh, fits for you. Uh, for the beginners, of course, the free plan is completely okay and you can have up to 2,000 contacts, email addresses and you can send your campaign, your email marketing emails to them but uh, if you have a lot of subscribers, there are channels, there are people who have a lot of emails in their uh, marketing email marketing list so in that case, you can go with the essential or standard or premium plan and you just go to the website and see the plans and compare them and select whatever is uh, okay for you but for me for now i'm going with the free plan uh, all right so let's go to the website backend and integrate so of course you need to install the contact form 7 the two plugins that we need here is uh, just uh, firstly go to the plugins Add new. The first plugin that you need to do, you need is contact form seven. This is the plugin I have already installed. I have already activated it. It has uh, more than five million active installations, and it's really a good one. Uh, and also another plugin that you need is the MailChimp, MailChimp Contact Form 7. Scroll down and yeah, this one is the Contact Form extension for the MailChimp. I have already installed and activated uh, both of them. So now let's go to Contact and integrate with the MailChimp. Go to contacts, contact forms. Okay, uh, here we have two forms here. The one is the contact form, which is for my contact page. This is the form. And uh, another one is the email subscription. This one. Uh, I'll link some videos in the description. Also, you can uh, see on the top right, right here. Uh, about the contact page, designing the contact page and inter integrating the contact form 7 also. There is another one I think about a ninja form you can integrate to your website. You can watch them if you need. Uh, Alright, so again let's go to backend and click edit form. First of all I want to link my MailChimp account with the subscription uh, contact form 7. Okay, these are the presets and uh, you can see we have an option here, Champmatic Light. Uh, this is the option that only visible, only available after you install the uh, MailChimp Contact Form 7 extension that we installed. Okay, click on that. Uh, I have already integrated, this is the MailChimp API key. You just go to your MailChimp account and copy this MailChimp API key in order to uh, find that go to your MailChimp account uh, go to okay view dashboard first okay let me log in all right so when you log in uh, first of all you need to have uh, a list an audience so uh, recently MailChimp changed the list name to audiences, so it doesn't matter. Just click on audiences. At the moment, I have one list. Solutions online store I have already created, and uh, this audience, it means this list, has three contacts, and three of them are subscribed. 
uh, in order to add more lists for example you need more lists for different kinds of people for certain people a list for the email addresses those who are interested in a specific product and another list for another group of people who are interested in another specific type of product or service so uh, you know you can go to view audiences and here you can create audiences create new list I have already one with the free plan just you can create one list and in that one list you can add your 2000 uh, email addresses those who are subscribing to your uh, email list uh, okay so we have it and we are going to integrate this one with our contact form 7 by the way I will link a complete uh, tutorial about MailChimp uh, just I'm going to make it sometime soon and just stay tuned and subscribe for more I hit the bell button so you will be notified whenever I upload new videos mm, all right so in order to find the API key uh, go to your profile and go to accounts and here you will see extras click on that go to API keys and this is the API key if you don't see for the first time when you came here you will not see an API key so you can simply create one I have already here it is and just I copy and I go to my website back and I paste it here and click connect connect and fetch your mailing list so this is the list we have only one list and we have only one field which is email address you can see here we have one field and that is the email address and all right uh, so the mailing tax I'm not using and click save okay that is great so now let's go to form and let's integrate the API key for the contact form as well we did for the email subscription now let's go to contact form that is the form which is uh, integrated to the contact page again let's go to champ mat light paste the API key connect and fetch your mailing list then scroll down and this is the list uh, what should be included uh, the, of course the email address and the name of the subscriber and save changes all right so um, now if we go to our MailChimp let's go to audience view contacts now you can see now we have only three email addresses three subscribers and now let's go and check uh, to our website to see whether the emails are being added to our email list or not let's go and in here just let's uh, type an email address let's say test sats at gmail.com and sign up thank you for your subscription now let's go to contact page and subscriber form and name for example let's say mark email address mark at taste.com subject it is uh, taste taste contact and taste contact form okay let's submit so let's go to our uh, MailChimp account and refresh let's see if the emails are added or not yep here it, here it is we have the email address this one is from the subscription form and this one is from the contact form they are both added and subscribed and now you can use these email addresses you can create campaigns uh, and you can create the marketing emails you can just send them and uh, yeah, later I will link a video about MailChimp on how to create the marketing emails and campaigns and how to send them to those people with uh, different kinds of interests with the use of tags and stuff. Uh, okay, stay tuned and subscribe for more. If it was helpful, please hit the like button and uh, see you all in the next tutorial. Thank you. Bye-bye.